Welcome to another video. I want to thank you for being a viewer of this video because I know I took a break for a while because life happens, but I'm back. And I want to thank the person who sent me this problem. This, I think I've had this problem for about two weeks, but I just never made a video about it. And this is an easy way for me to get back into making consistent videos. And ultimately, I'm thinking of going back to making the long form lecture style videos, um, especially for algebra too, because I am teaching algebra this semester. And I think I want to just, just teach because the more I teach, the more I discover that I've never talked about. So um, I might just make long form videos, maybe on a different channel or on this channel depending on what kind of comments I get, I'll see what happens. So this is a four digit number with unique digits, which means A is not B and B is not C and C is not D. All the digits are different. And we add this number to itself four times and the answer becomes DCBA. What is the number? Let's get into the video. The most important observation you want to make is that when a four digit number, which is in the thousands, that's all four digit numbers. By the way, A is not zero, otherwise it's not a four digit number. So the first digit of any number cannot be zero. So remember that because some people might say A could be zero. A is not zero. Is between one and nine. Okay, what you have here, this adding four, the same number four times to itself is like multiplying the same number by four. So we can say that this expression, we can say that four times the original number, I'm going to call it A, B, C, D, four times this four digit number gives us D, C, B, A. We get a different number here. So what we're saying is, that's very rare for you to multiply a number by four and the number of digits stays the same. There has to be some smallness to the number. For example, look, this number, if you multiply this first number by four, you're supposed to get one digit or two digits, right? But because it is still a four digit number as our answer, it means whatever number was here was less than three because four times three will be 12. Now this, was, this will become a five digit number no matter what happens here, okay? So remember that 3000 times four will be 12,000, which is now five digits. So it means the number here was not up to three. So A must be one or two. Okay? Since DCBA is a four digit number, four A is less than 10. Because if 4a was up to 10, there will be an extra digit which will make this a five digit number. So 4a is less than 10, which tells us that a is less than 2.5. And since a is an integer, it means a must be one or two. So we can say a equals one or a is equal to two. Those are the only possible values of A. Now we need to narrow things down. Okay, now we're gonna pick one of these because one of these is the answer actually. Look, after multiplying a number by four, we got this as the last digit. Remember, multiplying any number by four makes the number even. So the last digit of this number must be an even number which means of these two options we have, A equals two is the only reasonable one. If you multiply the last digit of this number 
it's going to give you an answer, which must end in two. Remember, we've said A is two. So the first time you start multiplying, four times D is going to give you either two. No, four times any number will not give you two. It will give you either 12 or 32. If it's a single digit, remember all the options you have are single digits. Between one and nine, four times any number will only give you 12 and 32. There are no other options for single digits. So, since one is less than or equal to D and D is less than or equal to nine, for D, can only have can only have two as last digit if d equals three or d equals eight because four times three is twelve four times eight is thirty two now we need to know which of these two is the correct number so the next part is that we have to claim that D has to be eight because D cannot be three. Remember that we multiplied the first digit A by four. If you multiply eight, two by four here, if you multiply two by four, you're gonna get eight. And that's the number here. But you might say, what if we carried a number over? Well, remember, since A is already two, the maximum you can carry over from this part will be one or two. So, no, just one, because you have to stay in a single digit. So clearly, since A is established as two, D has got to be eight. D cannot be any other number. Since A is two, two and four A equals eight. D equals eight. Can D be three? No, because four times eight, two is greater than three and we cannot cross 10, okay? So that's what we have, D equals eight, okay? Three is less than four A, okay? For all, whatever you think A is, and we've already established A equals two. So since three is less than four A, that's your only option that you have. We can't go down, we can only go up. And you can go up beyond eight and cross the other side because we have to stay within one digit. Okay, I'm sticking to this. D equals eight. Okay, now let's find the two numbers in the middle. Mm. Okay, now notice that because this multiple or this column has to give us, oh, nothing was carried over. So because we've established D equals eight, it means no number was carried over, okay? Since no number was carried over to four A, we didn't add anything after multiplying this, we didn't add anything to 4a. Then, 4 times b is less than 10. Because we didn't carry anything over. We didn't even carry over 1, because this is strictly 4 times 2, which gave us 8. So we didn't carry anything over here. So 4B has to be less than 10. And if 4B is less than 10, then that means that B is less than 2.5. So since B is less than 2.5, B has three options. B is either zero or one or two. So we can say B. We need to choose which of these numbers B could be. And there's a very easy answer to this. B is equal to one. How do I know? because it's the only odd number in this sequence, I mean, in this um, set that we have. Watch this. If you add C plus C plus C plus C, that's C times four. C times four is an even number, right? Remember, there's a three coming from this eight times two, which is 32, okay? 
So, now we're looking for A, B, C, D. The original number was, let me write the original number here. It was 2, B, C, 8. So, when you multiply this by 4, you get 32. So, you write 2, you carry 3. 3 is an odd number. When you add an odd number to an even number, your answer must be odd. So, the number in this position here must be odd, right? Whatever it is. And this is the only odd number that can fit in this position. So, B must be 1. Since 4C plus 3 is odd, the last digit must be odd. Therefore, B is 1. Therefore, let's write it here. Therefore, B is equal to 1. Okay, so I have gotten almost all the numbers. So see what I have. You can actually do this yourself. Let's figure out what C is going to be. Hmm. Well, we can do another restriction. If you multiply 4 by C, you're going to get 4C. Remember, we're supposed to add 3 that we're carrying from this 32. So, for any C, 4C plus 3 has 1 as last digit. Only if C equals 2 or 7. Those are the two numbers that will give you an 8 as the end. Remember, you want the last digit to be 1 after you add the 3 to it. So it's either you're adding 3 to 8 or you're adding 3 to 28. So the only options you have when you multiply this by 4 and you add 3, you're going to get 11 or 28 plus 3, you get 31. So it's one of those two numbers. Okay. Now, Remember the question says all the digits are unique. So C cannot be 2 because we already used 2 for A. So the only option we have is 7. Okay, since A equals 2, C is not equal to 2. Therefore, C equals 7. So we check. Check again. Check again. You have 2, 1, 7, 8 multiplied by 4. What will be the answer? 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 7, 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. 4 times 1 is going to give us 4 plus 3. That's 7. Ooh, and 4 times 2 is 8. So, 2, 1, 7, 8 times 4 is 8, 7, 1, 2. I hope this was fun. If you solved it a different way, I know it's the same logical cycle we're going to follow. Maybe you didn't use digits. Leave it in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.